हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ब्लॉक प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी और डिस्कस हाउ टू सेट अप लाइक अ एडमिन थीम्स सो वी और सेट अप लाइक एडमिन थीम्स इन लास्ट वीडियो लाइक वी और डिड लाइक बैक एंड इन साइड वी और क्रिएट ले आउट ले आउट इन साइड आफ्टर वी और क्रिएट लाइक वन डैशबोर्ड फाइल्स एंड आफ्टर वी ए कॉल्स सो लेट शो यू अगेन सो वी और डन लाइक अ पैनल्स आफ्टर वी कैन टाइप लाइक अ डैशबोर्ड सो दिस इज द ओन मीन्स वी और डिड लाइक अ डैशबोर्ड वर्क but right now this dashboard is open directly so we need to make verification without login is impossible to open so we need to make like here like a middleware middleware inside we make a authentication and i will show you everything that like a step by step how we can do it and you are new in this channel otherwise in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon because our subscription is very low so please help and subscribe and you can learn as soon as possible good contents okay and we already upload like some projects so i think your basic funda 100% is clear and high level programming you can do it for this project suppose you can learn okay and also you can start now and you can refer your friend so he can learn something new every day and we are uploading every day new projects this results okay so let's start now so first of all you need to open here like a middleware means we need to create a new middleware suppose here you can go so you can see it here like our middleware so what we can do we need to create a new middleware like a auth middleware we can create here here is a user tab there but user tab is is working like a authentication wise means a permission wise suppose you are giving me the block permission so this user can access otherwise no need to access like this we need to do in this project we don't want to make like a role type okay 1 2 3 is a role there so this is the role this one need to show two role means like this need to show three means like this no need to show here we are creating like a two roles only admin and user so it is a good way and you can understand easily okay so you can see it here like a middleware there so let's start now like a, first of all you need to open your terminal once you can open the terminal you need to do like a one command php artisan make middleware so i just zoom out so you can see it clearly artisan make middleware middleware auth middleware i just type like this simple command auth middle middleware okay whatever spelling do you want to type is your dependency i just like this i have type auth middleware and once you can press the enter so taking few seconds and creating new middleware is a middleware you can find out here like a inside a middleware authenticate middleware already there so you can see it now auth middleware you can see it here like a auth middleware you see it now in this middleware we need to make some condition he is a login he is not login we need to check very clever way so first of all we need to declare here our authentication so let's make some zoom out use auth okay suppose use auth so we need to do here like if auth check is not empty and he can going to else he is not empty so we need to do like a here is continue work like next request he can do it otherwise auth log out and we can redirect like a home page is very simple way i can show you everything so don't worry return redirect url means our main url like a home page url okay so it is very simple way we can do it okay now we need to go to our routes inside web.php so route web.php inside we need to pass here our middleware so first of all we need to declare this middleware in our side like a kernel.php carefully watch what i did first i have created new middleware files okay this middleware files inside we have made some conditions like he is login so he is going to next request otherwise we are doing like a auth logout now we need to declare this middleware dot kernel dot kernel kernel dot php file inside so it's very easy way it is not difficulty way so you need to declare here and you need to provide like one part here just go down so you can see it here like authentication some middleware available but we need to declare our middleware so our middleware how it's work whatever you can pass here like this work suppose our middleware like is a name we need to provide like a authenticate okay authent what already there so we don't want to use same words 
we need to use like different words like uh, admin admin users i will create a middle name like admin users okay and we can provide his path so where is the our path there like app inside http inside middleware inside our file there auth middleware so same thing you need to provide like a path here app after we need to do like http after we can do like a middleware and after we can provide like our file name like a auth middleware just you can declare here and here you can put like a class same thing above you can see it here okay so here we have done our middleware declaration let's go back again we can check is there any error generic or not generic errors so i will refresh no any errors okay so first i will create a files inside i have made a condition after this middleware we have declare inside kernel.php like app http inside you can see it like here kernel.php now we need to use this middleware inside routes inside web.php so just go to inside and we need to write here our middleware command like not a command like a syntax how it works so i will show you step by step how we can do it so first of all we need to create here routes okay like this routes and i can change here like a group okay group inside we need to work like a middleware so which middleware do you want to use so this is the words is a fix okay middleware inside your middleware name so our middleware name like a admin middleware just put like this admin middleware okay after you need to pass here like a function and inside you need to work your middleware routes so this is the middleware we have declared here you can see it like middleware inside admin mid means middleware name so which middleware admin user so it's going to admin user so where is the kernel here is checking okay here is going to auth middleware so auth middleware inside what is the condition there suppose is login so okay no problem we can go suppose is not login so is going to log out and go to back so he is just checking like step by step suppose i copy this route admin dashboard and i can put inside okay just close i just put and go inside i just go back again and i refresh the page so you can see it is redirect automatic home page suppose error is red so error is showing otherwise we need to do like a uh, app http app http admin middleware does not exist like auth middleware target class does not exist one minute like uh, app auth i don't why is not working one minute okay because of i have not add a slash here because you can see it every place slash there but here we have not make a slash so it's good error generate now how we can solve error we can understand easily where so just go back again refresh the page and you can see it now working very well suppose i can do again panel dashboard and i just press enter so it's automatic redirect to home page because i am not login i click on the login again i will go into my database i already opened database and i can put like admin at the gmail.com and i can password my password one two three four five six okay i log in so login working successfully now i can go to like a panel dashboards and dashboard so need to work because we are already login so still not working because of we have not redirect so let's redirect so i can show you because once refresh page after it works so go to authentication controller and here is a uh, our auth login you can see it here so return redirect panel slash dashboard now just put like this okay so here auth is checking is not empty so it's going to inside otherwise going to outside here you can see it like uh, our routes and authentication is a successfully there message we have write a one redirection code panel dashboards let's try to login again so it's very simple just go to back again and i can add like admin panel one two three four five six i just oh sorry i have added a wrong password you know me you know because automatic is a database whatever password here this one is accept this reasons now i log in so you can see it's working very well you see panel dashboards suppose i press the enter still work you see because i am a login just here we can put like a sign out button let's go to headers and we can make like here log out button so i can make it here so let's go to resources inside need to go to i think headers headers inside you can see it's um, apps headers yes header inside i think you can find out this ones like a sign out so you can see it here sign out 
and here also is a link available so we need to create a new url here hacker logout okay so it's very simple this url we need to declare inside web.php right here url like a simple way just copy and paste and you can do it here logout url and same thing you can provide also here path like a logout now you need to write inside auth controller inside one function like a logout so any place you can write do you want to like function logout here we can do it like a auth logout after we can redirect to login page return redirect login okay it's very simple and very easy way let's go back again and i refresh the page and after i click on the like a here name is available so i just click on the sign out so is a logout and after i can go to back and i can access like a page panel dashboards so you can see it's not working okay so let's show you again what i did okay everything step by step first of all we have created like this file like a auth middleware after i have declared this file inside a one kernel.php like a middleware alias inside you can see it here once is a declare here, I am going to web.php, I will create a new routes, middleware, admin middlewares, means that we have created one group middleware, inside we have declared our routes, whatever user login, this user routes here can work, okay. And after, we have created like a auth controller inside, we have redirect to once user login, so we have redirect to inside a dashboard, so we have write also this command, this is a post reset, means that this is the reset password, this is the forget password. Here you can see it, redirect panel dashboards, okay. And after we have created one file, like a one URL, like a logout URL. Suppose I am login, admin, at the .com. Once I have login, so we have did here like another name, like a logout. So this is the logouts and you can go to like a, again, login page. So we have created new routes inside added.php like a logouts. And this logout we are declaring inside webs here and we have created a new function inside logout auth controller and here you can see new routes like auth controller and after we did like auth logout and redirect to login page okay this is the task we uh, did inside a authent means a auth controller auth middleware and one route about the logouts okay now we need to declare here our name because we need to show here name we don't want to need my profile need my account setting need helps we can leave it because future we can use so we can use this reasons okay so let's go back again added.blade.php and inside we can put here our name so simple way it's not difficulty like auth users and here we can type like a name it's very simple way not difficult auth users name you can go back again and you can refresh the page so you can see it whatever user you log in this is the name you can see it here so admin you can see it because i am logging as an admin you can see it here name is the admin available so here is showing the admin once you can go to my profile you can change the name so automatic here change the name because you are changing your profile this reasons okay so i hope you can understand everything about this video and uh, like what we have did like we have made like conditions how to log in how to log out how to access like urls everything i will show you step by step okay and next video we can start now with like a blogging work like here we can create a blog menu and we need to add a, some functionality like add a blog time what what information we need we can do and we can store after we can do like a front side also okay and I hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so you always get a notification and you can learn something every day new okay I hope you can enjoy and thank you for watching